All right, this morning we set up our chronograph 10 foot away from the rifle barrel. The trick in getting a good chronograph reading is getting the barrel lined up with these sensors that are about an inch and a half apart in the slot in a very good sight picture where the barrel is aimed between the brass uprights. Now let's go look at the target. These sensor slots measure the bullet as it passes over. It creates a shadow from this sensor to this sensor, and that's what measures the flight. The August 1st, 2011, 8.15 a.m., wind 5 miles an hour from the southwest, temperature 91 Fahrenheit, humidity 42%. Going to shoot the 7 mil 08, 162 grain AMAX, 162 Hornaday hollow point, both with H414, 45 grains of powder. Cold bore, 162 Amax, 100 yards. Twenty seven hundred feet per second cold bore shot. Shot number two. Twenty six twenty one. And the last shot with Amex. Twenty seven thirty one. A little better. Camera off. All right, here's the seven mil oh eight one sixty two grain Amax. The aim point was here. The three bullets hit there at a hundred yards. That's about a quarter inch, center to center. Same height as the H4895, approximately three inches high at a hundred yards. Looks like the sun went past the diffusers. Have to reset the chronograph.
we had to move the chronograph into full sunlight. Uh, the bullet casts a shadow between the two sensors. And when the shadow disappears in the shade, you get an error message.